Hey Manuela, this is John. I am partners with Nathan Watson. He posted in the uh, photography group in South Florida. Uh, just going to go over some basics and do a quick overview of your website versus your competitors and show you what can be done to boost things up and, and work out some stuff. So when we first type in something into Google, uh, that's called a keyword. I don't know how familiar you are familiar you are with uh, these concepts, but we're going to go over the basics real fast. When you type in a phrase in Google, that's called a keyword. Now, most businesses are associated with these keywords and Google ranks them according to uh, some, some, some other aspects. So uh, Miami photographer, the first thing we're going to see, uh, typically there's ads up here above the map and then this whole map pack sometimes you'll see ads just like this one right here and uh, then you'll come down here and you'll see uh, organic searches uh, the first usually the first ones that are um, you know the strongest competitors and the top websites are usually something like uh, uh, websites like flightographer or the knot or home advisor angels list that sort of thing and then your top uh, websites, but in this situation, things are a little different. And Evan Rich Photography is the first real photographer that's listed on here. Um, I'll go into some details here in a second over that, but first I want to go over this map pack. This is ranked separately from those organic searches down below. These are ranked according to a few other different metrics. So if we just click on this one, so we can see. Evan isn't even in the top one here. He's here, but he's not on here. So you can see that it's ranked differently just by looking at that. So we'll click on this profile. And uh, Tolga, uh, we'll see here, uh, their website has plenty of information. Everything's listed well. Uh, they have plenty of photos in here, lots of five-star reviews, um, and lots of filled out uh, reviews as well. So lots of, lots of text there. Those are some of the more important aspects of the profile, but what's really important are things called uh, citations. So Google looks at this profile uh, via all the different information that they have put out there in different directories like Yelp and Yellow Pages, that sort of thing. So your address, phone number, that sort of thing put into different directories is what Google really, really looks for. And we have a tool that will show us that. I'm not going to bring that up because it takes a little bit and I don't want to waste too much of your time. But essentially, it'll give us the, the amount of listings they have out there on the inter internet and why uh, and, and where they are. Uh, so we go back here and we go into the, uh, the organic searches here. Uh, we're going to check out Evan's website first. And I've already brought it up here. And his website looks good looks really good um it's beautiful and usually that's what you know people are looking for when they look at a website but that's not what google's looking for google's looking for content and needs to know how well you're doing so uh by by looking at the content that you have usually what you want to do is start out with a, a bunch of text uh you know f around 1500 words on the front page and then 500 words on every subsequent page so content is king the way that google knows what you do is by looking at that content um, and, and you know having phrases like miami photographer or uh, you know south florida photographer that that sort of thing should be in your website somewhere so that google knows how to rank you according to what you have so you can do that and then uh, once you're well established, you don't have to have all that text anymore. So you can absolutely have a beautiful, you know, uh, picture heavy website uh, after you've established what you do. Um, then going into that, you have to backlink uh, even more. Um, and I'll go over that in a little bit more detail as well. Uh, we're going to take a look at another. Uh, website and again um, this is the sort of thing I'm talking about the, the his text and he probably this is Lucas so you probably has or probably had at one point a lot more text on the front page 
um, but doesn't have to anymore because he's so well established with Google. So if we go into their analytics, this is Evan. So we'll go into Evan's uh, page. This is our analytics tool that will tell us what uh, is going on, what he's doing. So he brought in 519 traffic from the past month. So he brought 519 people to his page just by being at the top of Google uh, for the for a number of other keywords. But uh, he's bringing in that many people a month off of what he does on Google's front page. So what we're going to do, we'll take a look at the keywords he has. He has he ranks for over 2,000 keywords. And he has a blog, so that that's part of it too. You can always create more content through the blog. That's probably where he's where his most of his power is coming from nowadays. Um, so we can see all the different words that, that he's ranking for on Google. Uh, Miami wedding photographer. Uh, he's number two position on that. 150 people are looking at that, or have have actually searched that term. That's what volume is. Uh, so 150 people searched for the term Miami wedding photographer. Photographer Miami searched 150 times. He's in the third position for that. Um, and so on and so on. So we go down the line, we can see the numbers. Photographers in Miami, Florida, 200. Um, you know, just keep going down and you can see what's going on. Uh, so there's plenty of people out there looking for plenty of photographers out there. So there's plenty of money to be made. And if we look at going back at his analytics we see the backlinks right here backlinks are essentially what power a website uh, the keywords are what are what lets Google know what you're doing and what you want to be ranking for and the backlinks are what power it so essentially when you attach your website so Evan uh, attaches his website to some other websites and you know other businesses that are associated with photography it has to be relative re related to what he does for a profession so um google will be able to see you know if if you attach your website to you know um, a lawn care thing it's not really going to do much for you you need to have relative relative content um so attaching your website to other websites to get uh, what, what we kind of call a popularity contest the more uh, people that you attach your website to, the more businesses that you attach your website to, the more power you get from it. Um, there are some, you know, more uh, interesting aspects to it, but I'm not going to bore you with the details. Um, but essentially, that's how it works. You attach your website to somebody else's, and you get credit for some of the power that they get. Um, it's kind of like, you know, building a, uh, a um, a pipe to to some water it, you, you get some of that once it starts flowing in so uh the the other part that i want to talk to you about is ads uh, ads can be very very useful in fact um uh, we recently had a campaign with a, a photographer here in ohio that uh was very successful in facebook and google google can be a little bit more uh expensive but facebook is a little cheaper and works a little better personally in my experience. However, both are very useful if you know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, they tend to take advantage of, of their clients and their, and their customers and make them spend more money without realizing until it's too late. So it's important to have someone that's experienced doing your ads for you, unless you know, you're experienced yourself, in which case more power to you. Um, but usually what we do when we uh, approach a, a client's uh, uh, website is we'll actually start an ad campaign and then start building up your website. So by the time we're done uh, using the ad campaigns, uh, we can just bring, uh, put you up at the top of the Google list uh, so that you're making, you know, leads off of that without ha having to use the ads anymore. So it's a good filler process that works and does a lot for the client um, if you have any questions feel free to message myself or nathan he can go over everything you need and if you want to go further into uh more detail we can absolutely do that hop on a zoom call or you know uh talk a little bit more and you know what i'm not going to do that just yet we forgot to look at your website's metrics so you can see here real quick that you don't really have much going on um, in 
again, for those other reasons, that's why you, you don't have, you have two keywords and they're both your name, I'm assuming. So if we go back, uh, we also see no backlinks, no traffic, no nothing, unfortunately. So if you want help doing this, we can certainly talk more. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't do this till the end. Uh, but feel free to give uh, to message one of us and we can talk about a little bit more. I hope that was uh, engaging and I hope that was helpful with the information. If you want to use the information for yourself, go for it. If you want us to help out and talk to you a little bit more about it, we're happy to do that too. I hope this was informative and I hope you have a wonderful day, Manuela.